welcome you all thank you very much I'm glad that I have a chance to stand before you today I will present to you our ministry the view vision uh, challenges and those uh, means and possibilities that we have at the ministry very few of the, uh, people know what's going on uh, in uh, in the ministry and what IT possibilities we have. At first, I'd like to tell for introduction. We have a very short period, but I would like to say in 2014, in, uh, and uh, I was appointed in July. Uh, uh, in 2014, I worked a little, and at the end of the month, I get my first salary. And what I found out, they printed out the paperwork and asked me to sign the paper. And that was the jump start when I started to um, cooperate with the IT. When I entered the, this ministry, and uh, when uh, uh, in this, uh, we were uh, CA. We have uh, so CA is the uh, successor to widely used the uh, SNA. This is the the second stage of the uh, of the uh, GDP. And. Uh, we should uh, record the uh, natural resources and as an economist of the uh, sustained development we uh, well it uh, uh, turned out that all the economy uh, is conducted manually so what the, whatever is first thing to notice in the ministry so in some other services there's a accountant office and I found out uh, which might be surprise for for you as well. Uh, I don't want to bother you in my uh, in uh, the uh, bio uh, bio resource protection, water uh, pro protection management, solid waste management, climate change adaptation, uh, na na uh, natural ris uh, risks, and. And when I entered the ministry, they asked me that I sh had to take a cure. And in the ministry, there was the nuclear waste management um, um, was falling under my ministry. Uh, and uh, we also know that licenses for those activities that might affect um, environment, those documents are issued by our ministry. So now I'd like to tell you that in this or that activity, we have um, uh, we are playing great role in environmental pro pro protection. So therefore, we need to have this uh, information receive the information properly. So and the national agency of the environment falls under my under my um, li library uh, under my umbrella that quality uh, uh, underground uh, superficial um, uh, testing of the soils and the licensing and uh, they, they have formal also we have a center that take care of the formal and non-formal education inside of the system and outside of the system and it is environmental education and information center that are taking care of the also uh, informational educational and informational system so i sh um, uh, i should tell you that in 2014 these services did not exist so uh, by that time we had only the empty blank blank paper. It is very important that our ministry, um, excluding the Ministry of the Justice, operates with the uh, regulatory act. We have the 31 um, regulatory agreements and um, 
which follows after the constitutional um, uh, obligations. So now we, we have taken the uh, 17, de uh, 17 de developing um, uh, all of this uh, the regulates regulates the environment and all these quality papers this uh, research uh, documents uh, structure the, why am I telling you this all of this creates uh, a space where we uh, the donors uh, try to use this strategy and they and they, they, this was discovered to be financed by many and the minister there doesn't exist a strategy and there's no coordination so what was the reason for that there were lots of solves individual separate things standalone solves on one desktop and we also discovered that many GIS servers were installed and they were not communicating with each other and even today in the ministry we have to uh, write down a paper uh, and if anything is happens in a forestry so we just do it uh, manually or everything so there's no uh, el electronic form, and there is no consistency in user uh, from user. There is no data policy, and there is uh, and there is no interrelation uh, policy. And this is the reality that we're trying trying to tackle. Let me give you one simple example how we can. Um, spoil the good idea uh, and how irresponsibility water resources I found out that uh, one big uh, donor conducted a special uh, survey in water resources and they had a very good um, program very good web interface with good uh, utilizing good uh, user experience and I tried to use this and I found out that there is no user management so I'm trying to use I'm using these words because we don't we don't have this uh, we don't have this uh, and, um, similar words in Georgians and that's why I use English terminology so they told us that this is not for remote uh, activity and so uh, paper are submitted and then operator will enter into the data or you know, electronically. So this was a project which costed uh, several um, thousand dollars or tens of thousand dollars, tens of dollars, thousand dollars. Uh, well, we don't possess specific information that uh, we will afraid to be leaked but we're afraid to be leaked but in any event we have information mm, uh, that can be abused or misused and that's why security is very important Oops. so see I'm talking about something that something really important and alarm goes off so if we are responsible now we have to leave the conference room it's a fire alarm are we supposed to leave I think we can uh, continue. Somebody want, doesn't want me to talk about the problems in my ministry, but in any way I'm going to do that, and I will 
require your, your interest and participation. So something that I call, well, we need something that I call knowledge management. Knowledge management in our field is specifically important. Uh, knowledge and information, it's two different things. So just to know that uh, uh, oven is hot is just an information. But to know that it may harm you, this is knowledge already. So. So we have a lots of information, but we need to turn it into a knowledge. So what I mean here, so in the um, process of cadre uh, leakage, so um, they, this prevents system from being stable. So if any uh, experienced and knowledgeable uh, person leaves the system then his knowledge is gone so that's why we believe this uh, to be a challenge and how we uh, then we looked into the system how knowledge is being uh, accumulated uh, donor in one of the um, in the frames of one project it gives us some equipment to measure certain system in uh, environment. Let's, it could be uh, measuring the level of uh, water in the river and the objective is to formulate the policy. So we have to change the policy just to prevent the increase of the level of the water in this water level increase. And within the context of uh, association agreement, um, there is another donor who helps us in formulating this policy. So we are probably spoiled by donors and we have very large amounts of uh, assistance that comes into us and uh, other equipment which is used by other measurements is provided by another donor. So this is a system of early warning and creation of uh, common network, MHU, multi-hazard early warning system. So we can say that we can uh, integrate these two measurement system to measure the level of the water and early warning system as well. And early warning system is in direct relation with indicators of climate change, which also provides for success of the country. So entirely these activities are, uh, can be efficient only in um, complex view, but not fragmented. So, so this information and knowledge should not be stored only in somebody's head. So it should be stored uh, in another place as well so that we can avoid uh, losing the knowledge uh, as people leave from the system. So whoever thinks that uh, they have interaction with big data and with billions of uh, certain information, bytes of information. We are the organization that we store all the uh, measurements, these grids and sensor grids. Uh, every year it increases. Every minute, every sensor generates specific data. Every single minute. And this data is stored. And billion is not a figure that may surprise us. Why I put it 4D here? Because this is in four um, dimensions. Location, time, and an incredible uh, flow of information. And it's supposed to be even uh, more and even more intensive. And donors are interested in supporting us to handle this. Application submissions. So I put an example of uh, application. We need a lot of application uh, of like spreading the air, uh, checking the soil. Lots of information is being submitted. 
And we, we have a challenge to process this and turn it into the policy formulation. Real-time control and all the systems, we don't have many, but uh, it is being developed. It's like a monitoring controlling system. Very good system is upcoming. I will tell you about when I speak about um, Narchenibis. Oh. Uh, all triggering is a um, system which is based on certain information, gives you uh, uh, alarm and gives you some information. It's not about uh, moist and flood and, uh, um, and also waste management. And if, if system sees that uh, waste is collected somewhere, is not utilized, then system alerts us. GIS integration is uh, so we don't have this integrated system and it's impossible to attra uh, extract information and remote sensing in our sphere is, is rather uh, an issue of future it covers it relates um, soil control weather control water control and many other and that's why we very seriously starting started utilizing the mode sensing where the in geology even uh, it produces results and we will get there but today we we see very important uh, trends and directions and all this needs to be um, architectured let's say so how we see it typical uh, core is like a system to have a system core in our uh, country, or in our case, it's a BI sub-component uh, as well as artificial uh, systems of triggering of artificial intelligence and basic uh, services and general components of uh, interface and users and how GIS can be, uh, so that's why I mentioned it twice. Mm, and there are the layers of services that provide for s services delivered for our inter user interfaces as well as for uh, outer or outside. So let me draw your attention to several aspects here. This is an American figures or American digits and we can transfer them into Georgian reality McKinsey Global, very competent, open data initiative in the United States, it generates from three to five trillion dollar services, worth service. So if we can manage to do it at uh, ten times less than that, would be, we would be happy. I myself as an economist, I am very motivated to have a realistic working open data source and with the uh, uh, modest ambition I will tell you I'll, I tell you that open data is also uh, spread on uh, double communication we call it open surf and very quite often I encounter um, when uh, government when preparing some solution deployment it uh, provides web interface to a user but when uh, web inter uh, web interface is not inter interesting for a user then I can tell him to enter in, uh, data into a specific uh, place of it and it will cover uh, and we're talking about here computer to computer or machine to machine uh, communication. This is a quite widespread uh, error in uh, governmental system. We, we give it a web interface, but we don't give a government system. So we should provide services parallelly. So if, so if somebody needs a web interface, then service should be provided along with it. I talked about remote sensing, 
and remote sensing is uh, now becoming more and more important and I encounter many information provided by remote sensing. As I mentioned, the purpose of my visit here was not to exchange best practices. I, I am here to see and to talk to elite of IT services or IT technologies in Georgia and remote sensing is mostly used by foreigners in communication with us uh, but there is no very little room the room for communication and maneuvering is quite limited so what is quite urgent projects that we are ready to tackle with donors this is a uh, solid waste uh, a module and this mo module it uh, pretty much looks like um, from the uh, time of origin up to the utilization uh, uh, within this period of time it is under the control so we have this kind of decisions and we need to adjust it to our uh, solutions so which is imminent the GA to make the integration uh, in GIA so this uh, here we're looking for our partners and the app for applications I mentioned this is very important we have this uh, we need this service in many directions now to you the well we're talking about the customized uh, decisions so not only the water separately or something uh, on some other side. Uh, species of habitats. This is the description. Our our uh, ministry needs this, and we're looking for the partners to, uh, in this direction. And the tourism administration, they uh, tourism generating one of the key direction is the preserved areas. And it is natural. We need to have uh, have a um, uh, have a correct accounting. Uh, licensing is very important for GDP of Georgia. It is 15-20 percent is generated by the resources of Georgia. And today we don't have the correct so today. And again, sir, sir, great. This is the subject which will turn into in early informing multi-functional system and here I would like to tell you that we will be pioneers I don't exclude that in this direction we might get a, a great funding from and if somebody has capacity or going to collect then uh, this is it has a great potential and one more subject it's not mine but it's very pain uh, burning uh, the heart burning and I use this opportunity in Georgia we don't have uh, editor of the law uh, in organizations uh, we don't have this is big problem for example in my own organization um, uh, the way uh, in my organization it is the laws are edited in the word system so we uh, and we're facing the problems on the daily uh, pro on the daily base and we're trying also um, uh, to develop the mobile friendly uh, system in this year in the beginning the beginning of this year we started this initiated this uh, implementing this um, application uh, on the Android platform uh, just to take a picture by telephone and send this picture to the um, uh, environmental Ministry of Environment it's not sound there is no something illegal and it is way better to do so rather than to make a call I've already mentioned that we uh, we started multi-component early informing uh, early warning system where all geological uh, threats climate threats this not this not um, alarm the alarm is when the process is undergoing uh, undergoing this is early warning 
before the the actions develop so it generates uh, um, generates the and provides the information about ongoing system so it's very intellectual system and all sensor drill grid serves for this system it's very important in georgia it's not only georgian product if we are able to lead this product then uh, uh, I can uh, say that all the all Africa, all Asia, they they're looking for multi hazard early warning system. This is um, uh, it. Uh, I I believe something might be interesting for for you from the our environmental education. As, um, um, uh, to provide uh, all the stakeholders provide with their interesting uh, information and we'll find the developers um, that uh, will be interesting the, in our questions and we're uh, we're looking forward to meet them thank you very much